Welcome back to Daybreak. It is time for us to celebrate the people who make Buffalo and Western New York a better place to live. And today we are introducing you to a local nonprofit leader who's also a national spokeswoman on philanthropy and community service and cultural diversity. She's worked decades to bring people together to create positive change in our city, making her one of the selfless among us. In 1968, when she was eight years old, Clotilde Perez Bodhi de Decker came to Buffalo with her family from Cuba. The Catholic Charities Refugee Resettlement Program helped them get on their feet. I came to philanthropy as a beneficiary at a very young age and understood the power of being helped and therefore the power of helping others. And she's dedicated her life to paying it forward. It's really wonderful to be in a position to help others succeed. Dee Decker has been the president and CEO of the Community Foundation for Greater Buffalo for the past 15 years, working with individuals, families, and organizations to help them achieve their charitable goals. I am most proud of the theme that cuts across all of our work, which is working through partnerships and collaborative approaches. Under her leadership, Say Yes to Education came to the city, giving Buffalo public and charter school graduates college scholarships. Since the program's inception 12 years ago, the graduation rate went from nearly 50% to 80%. Clotilde's an amazing woman. Say Yes simply wouldn't have happened without her. It took her time, her energy, her political will, um, and the gift that's resulted has helped thousands and will and forever in our city. Decker also helped to create the Racial Equity Roundtable, which now includes 350 partners working to develop a more inclusive economy. Well, you know, Clotilde's an innovator. You know, she really is a great uh, leader and she knows how to bring people to the table. Next month, she's retiring as CEO of the Community Foundation. But she says she'll have even more time to pay it forward and help the city she loves through volunteerism. When you engage in volunteer work, you always get back so much more than you're ever able to give. It's a wonderful feeling to help others. And she's so passionate about volunteers, and she's even been named to a national commission called the Generosity Commission. It's a two-year project focused on studying generosity after the pandemic. We saw during the pandemic, how do you keep it going? And she's been charged with trying to figure that out on a national level. Congratulations to Cotille on her retirement upcoming and what a legacy she leaves behind. For sure.